When the pandemic essentially shut down society in 2020, people were beginning a new normal. And for some, that included being diagnosed with cancer. Fighting cancer in the height of the COVID-19 pandemic looked differently for different patients. And this month, we're going to be telling you their stories. First up is Daimara. She is a mother of two who thought at first she had COVID. For Daimara Cano, family is life. Her world are her children. <laughs> And in June of 2020, Daimara was navigating her new normal with her family, like so many of us, working from home and remote learning. With the pandemic being at home and having the two, two kids at home and doing, um, you know, like working from home and doing homeschooling and everything together, and I felt that it was too much. And that's why I was all the time, like, very tired. She thought, likely COVID. But one Saturday morning, when she couldn't even get out of bed, her husband rushed her to the ER. Testing revealed she had acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, a cancer that starts in the blood-forming cells of the bone marrow. A diagnosis her oncologist at Baptist Health Miami Cancer Institute says is rarely seen in someone in their mid-30s. When they told me you have cancer and it's very advanced, I was like, okay, cancer is not going to kill me. He got the wrong person. And what would follow would be an aggressive regimen in the height of the pandemic that included chemotherapy, a stem cell transplant, and being away from her children for two months. We had to keep her away from her family. We had to keep her away from her kids because she absolutely did not have any immune system for many months. And even the smallest cold, especially COVID, could take her life. Daimara's husband stayed by her bedside for a month of that, leaning on family members and FaceTime with their children. When someone is undergoing treatment for many months, having emotional support from your relatives and physical presence, human presence, uh, is very important. Um, so I can only imagine just how stressful and lonely it was for our patients. For these patients, human interaction consisted of Dr. Yulila Linares and her staff. It was, it was hard. I mean, listening to the diagnosis by myself and being by myself pretty much in the hospital for two months. But Daimara says she knew she would be able to get on the other side, leaning on her faith. I see everything like with a happy face now, <laughs> like because I'm actually living um, my life. A life that feels richer, looks brighter, and feels healthier. It's a miracle. Like, honestly, I am a miracle. And Daimara says she is doing well now. She urges everyone to listen to their body because sometimes we keep moving on, putting off the messages that it's sending us. And next week, I'm going to introduce you to a spunky eight-year-old girl who got really tough news at the age of just four.